I started about four years ago doing sculpture and uh, I had taken about a 15 year hiatus after college. I did a year of sculpture in college. I own my own design build company in Davenport and that has taken up the greater portion of my time over the last 15 years. Uh, the Gap probably helped to build up some pent up energy and ideas and everything else. My, ske my sketchbook was pretty full when I got started but it was a situation where I was almost desperate at that point to start doing sculpture again. So I'm primarily a figurative artist and uh, from there then I start dealing with um, poses. I'll see a pose that I think is beautiful, lines in the figure that I like. Um, I may be doing life drawing one night and really like a certain pose and go with that. You start with a simple idea and you start to evolve it and uh, um, give it you know, body and form, and then you start thinking about details and how are you going to uh, challenge the viewer. Um, and that's, I'm pretty big on that. I believe in juxtapositioning, so I like putting two disparate elements together where you have that n nervous energy that's created between those two. A lot of my figures appear very strong and then I steal senses from them. And so within the context of this sculpture, you have someone who is very empowered and very in control, it appears but then they no longer have you know, those important senses that um, supplement their lives. Uh, this piece is called Control, and it's the first sculpture I did about four years ago. The casting process actually compromised the surface, which I'm very happy with, and now I'm just trying to explore that aspect of my sculptures where the, uh, where the casting becomes part of the work. When I was at this sculpture competition last year, there were a group of homeless men that lived in a park right behind where I was exhibiting and this guy had come by four or five times and finally one day I grabbed him and said hey I want you to model for me and so I wanted to explore something that kind of made him seem more majestic and empowered and then what life was kind of giving that indication. He seemed very um, proud. He wasn't a guy that was walking around with his head down or anything else. He was not embarrassed to be who he was or where he was at in that stage in his life. So, and I was able to um, capture something in it, I think, but I just really enjoyed the process of doing this piece.